Hello children, uh, I'm going to teach you now the factors which affect the angle of deviation. Okay, the factors which affect the angle of deviation. So there are three factors. First is the angle of incidence. So how does the angle of deviation change with the angle of incidence? So uh, for that you can see this figure. This is a graph between angle of deviation along y-axis and angle of incidence along x-axis. Angle of incidence along x axis, angle of deviation along y axis. So here we can see that as the angle of incidence increases towards this, the angle of deviation decreases. Okay, as the angle of incidence increases, angle of deviation decreases and it becomes minimum at this point. So at this point of angle of incidence, it becomes minimum. Again, as the angle of incidence increasing, as the angle of incidence increases further, this angle of deviation starts increasing, increasing and becomes maximum. So there comes a point for which the angle of deviation is minimum. Okay, this point of angle of incidence, angle of deviation becomes minimum. So that is called minimum angle of deviation. Okay, so this is how the angle of incidence and angle of deviation has the relation. So there is a particular value, which is one value for which the angle of deviation becomes minimum okay so particular value of angle of incidence the angle of deviation becomes minimum for other values it is uh, any other values more more than minimum angle of deviation <coughs> so when will this happen when will this what is the value of this angle of incidence for which this angle of deviation becomes minimum it is found experimentally that when the angle of incidence becomes equal to angle of emergence then only this uh deviation becomes minimum that means when this angle i1 becomes equal to angle i2 angle of incidence becomes equal to angle of emergence then only the uh angle of deviation becomes minimum so here they have said when the angle of incidence becomes equal to angle of emergence that is when i1 becomes equal to i2 so when i1 becomes equal to i2 obviously r1 becomes equal to r2 okay so that case the uh, angle of division becomes minimum so when from here also if r1 becomes equal to r2 obviously this refracted ray through the prism has to be parallel to the base if these two angles are equal this has to be a straight line and this has to be parallel to the base so whenever the refracted ray through the prism becomes parallel to the base then the angle of deviation this angle of deviation delta becomes minimum or when the angle of incidence becomes equal to the angle of emergence the angle of deviation become becomes minimum it's the same thing all right so uh, there are two con uh, there are, we can say two conditions when the angle of deviation becomes when the angle of incidence becomes equal to angle of emergence or when the angle of when the refracted ray becomes parallel to the base the angle of deviation becomes minimum so we have a relation to find that out okay that relation come it comes from here so we have this relation i1 plus i2 if they are equal then it becomes 2i it becomes 2i okay so here we can say so from this relation we can find delta minimum so from there we find delta minimum equals to 2i minus a where a is the angle of prism what is angle of prism this is the angle of prism okay this is the angle of prism and delta minimum is the angle of minimum deviation, i is the angle of incidence, okay, or emergence. So this is how we find the angle of minimum deviation. Now, let's try to see for different value of angle of incidence, how does the angle of uh, deviation change, okay. See, for, for the first figure, if you see, the angle of incidence is 72 degree. And this is the refracted ray and the angle of, uh, and the angle of emergence is 33 degree. Okay, and this 43 degree is the angle of deviation. Okay, the same prism we use, only thing we do is that angle, we, we change the angle of incidence. Angle of incidence now is 48 degree. For that, we get the refracted ray, which is parallel to the base. Here, it is not parallel to the base. So, whatever the angle of deviation we get, it should not be the minimum angle of deviation. And for the same prism, if we change the angle of incidence equal to 48 degree, we see the angle of emergence is 48 degree. Both are same. And they are parallel to the base. And what the angle we got is 36 degree and this angle is the minimum angle of deviation okay we check it with for another value of angle of incidence also 
let's say the angle of incidence now is 30 degree which is less than 48 degree for that the refractory is like this not parallel to the base and the angle of emergence is 77 degree which is not equal to this as a result uh, the angle of deviation becomes 47 degree which is higher than 36 degree so only for angle of incidence 48 degree for which the angle of emergence is 48 degree and for that only the angle of deviation becomes 36 degree which is the minimum value for any other value of angle of incidence the angle of deviation will be more than 36 degree so this angle we call it angle of minimum deviation so this is the experimental verification of angle of minimum deviation okay so only for that value of angle of incidence for which the refractory ray becomes parallel or angle of incidence becomes equal to the angle of emergence we get the uh, minimum angle of deviation so another factor on which the angle of uh, deviation depends is the material of the prism so if you have the same angle of incidence but the prism material is different for example if you use the uh, fin glass prism and use the another prism is crown glass prism then uh, then the angle of deviation will change because the angle angle of deviation depends upon the refractive index more is the refractive index more is the angle of deviation so fin glass prism produces more deviation than the crown glass because the refractive index of fin glass is more compared to the crown glass okay so next it depends upon the angle angle of prism also so more it is found that the angle of deviation increases with the increase in angle of prism so if this angle increases if you have two prisms and um, both have different angle of prism then more is the value of angle of prism more will be the angle of deviation so it depends upon the angle of prism too fourth factor it depends dependence of angle of deviation on the color of light so angle of deviation also depends upon the color of light the refractive index of a given transparent medium is different for the light of different colors it decreases with the increase in the wavelength so refractive index what happens it decreases with the increase in wavelength which we have uh, already found it out in our previous video so refractive index and wavelength has uh, inverse relation so what happens is that uh, the refractive index of the material of the prism for visible light is maximum for violet color and minimum for red color that we know because red color has the maximum wavelength wavelength and violet color has the minimum wavelength therefore for a given prism violet light uh, deviates the most and the red light deviates the least because more is the refractive index more is the angle of deviation okay so refractive index of violet color is more therefore more is the angle of deviation thank you